Hi, my name is Yang Sang Cho, the founder of Jadam Ultra Low Cost Agriculture. Today, I'm going to talk about MPK fertilization plant theory for farming. Before my seminar, I often tell people that agriculture becomes more complicated and confused due to too much information because many people learn technologies that are not based on whole perspective of nutritional balance but learns agriculture based on technology that are partially adding separate nutrient for root vitalization, promotion of flowering, color promotion, fruit growth promotion. These methods, I believe, is purposely promoted by the industrial agriculture corporations. But I tell people that it is better we all should forget about MPK fertilization plant. It is commonly known as scientific to grow plant with fertilization plant for separate timing and often said that you will need to add nitrogen after transplanting for plants growth. Then you will need phosphorus when it is blooming, then calcium for the fruit growth, and then you need potassium when fruit is ripening. Many of us tried exactly what we have taught. However, even after decades of trial, we are still incapable of planning perfect fertilization plan for the crop. So I raised a question that why it is so difficult and from when all these methods started and why? Were these technologies existed before? Let me tell you one thing. This kind of fertilization plant never existed in nature at all. And I believe that it is a technology created by chemical fertilizer companies to justify the use of chemical fertilizer. Ladies and gentlemen, the modern agriculture technology is not a technology for farmers and for agriculture and for nature. This industry is dominated by a few large corporations who owns the technology. Before criticizing, I have to admit that it increases the productivity, but that is for a short period of time. And continuous use of these are actually destroying our nature and also seriously contaminating our soil and water and even microbes that exist in soil. I've seen this devastation with my naked eye while traveling to many countries and I'm not saying this by myself. It is proven worldwide and there is many articles and research about this. Believe it or not, there is a plenty of abandoned contaminated land used by multinational corporations around the globe. Many people and farmers are skeptical about vegetables and fruits that it cannot have robust growth without chemical fertilizers which is absolutely no truth behind it. Each year, our Jadam staff produces 60 different kinds of crops at Jadam Research Farm to prove that it can also be possible without them and can be even better than conventional farming. These are the 14 varieties of tomatoes grown in open field and greenhouses and this is red pepper in the open field. As you can see, it grows much larger than conventionally grown even without chemical fertilizers. So you may be wondering by now about how I was able to balance all these complicated MPK and CA optimized for crops organically. Let me teach you how. Don't complicate your mind with the books and YouTube but learn from the nature. Nature is senior to us. Our way of farming and farming of nature are based on same principle. Every tree on earth selectively picks up nutrient from the ground through its roots. And the pulled up nutrient goes to the tree and falls back on the surface of the soil as dry leaves in autumn. This procedure in nature is repeated year after year. As time passes, accumulated nutrients selectively extracted from the basement of the topsoil. Through this repeated process, 
without supplying nutrients from outside, the tree's nutritional balance is automatically optimized on its own. With this, nature completes its own optimal NPK-NCA balance without any help from the outside. Over time, the tree will have more balanced nutrient and grows better. In this way, trees never get old or die even after thousands of years unless if there is a war or any fire. This is a 7,200 years old tree. And this one is an 80,000 years old woodland. How old these trees are able to obtain the most optimized nutritional balance for its own? The answer is simple. Just simply ask nature about their technique on agriculture. Nature self-sustains their own compost and the result is fascinating. Nutrient from the soil becomes optimized for the trees. And surprisingly, the trees will have its own eternal life. With this evidence, we can learn the nature way of farming just by with observation. Moreover, there is no crop rotation in nature. In general farming techniques, rotation is the basis, but nature is not. That is because all the broken branches, dried leaves, and residue goes back into soil and becomes a nutrient. As we can observe, nature farming works better even without crop rotation. We can follow the exact same way but there is something lack of nutrient and mineral in human farming since we've sold or consumed all the fruits. This is the method that I'm showing you. It's simply putting back all the leftover crop residue in between the ridge after harvesting of chili pepper. And here, I would add tiny little bit of seawater or sea salt for the replacement of the missing nutrient that are taken out for our own consumption. The crop residue that has been placed on soil will decompose and become the best optimized nutrient for the crop. Most of farming techniques claim that you should never ever put the residue back into soil due to viruses and diseases. But once you try it for yourself in small scale, you will know that those claims are total hoax. In fact, it works way better when you continuously add residue into soil will actually benefit the crop. Ladies and gentlemen, we must try to avoid from this difficult theory of growth cycle that let us use more of their chemical product and driven us to choiceless direction that are manipulated by few chemical input corporations. I'm not saying the current system is not worth to spend money on. But I want to tell people that we sure do have some other choices for an easy path. Once we are able to achieve this breakthrough, every fertilization plan can become way easier than before. Please look at this picture. Most of current farmers are obsessed with adjustment techniques of NPK and farmers believe and imagine it's the most ideal that will truly work for perfect balance ratio. However, finding perfect ratio for those elements separately with current technology is very difficult. Even a professional who teaches you would find very hard to have perfect ratio. If you look at the picture of grass, do you think this ordinary plant have well balanced ratio of MPK? When you see well grown grass or plant, that means all the MPK is well balanced. If so, then how about utilizing those grass to make compost? You can have the most optimized self-sufficient compost that is almost perfectly balanced fertilizer. With this easy way, 
you will be able to provide what is most optimized nutrient to the crop. Every principle about agriculture is within a nature. So the best alternative option for composting is to put in crop residue and grass cultivation to enrich the organic matter in soil. If you are not in a condition to cultivate grass, then you can also use manure of grass-fed cows or horse as a compost. Even if that is not suitable for you, then use a compost which contains animal manure less than 35%. Speaking of myself, I use a compost that are mixed with sawdust and organic chicken manure for my own crop cultivation and soil management. Just like how nature works, try to be self-sustainable by not relying on the product, but try to utilize what is around you. 20 tons of rye can be produced in 1,000 square meter of orchard when it's cultivated, and 17 tons for hairy veg. You can also utilize canola and Chinese milk veg during the winter. Then how about for the greenhouses? It is also possible to cultivate Sudan grass for 30 days to make 80% of the compost then you can add up the rest 20% from the market if you are not in a condition to collect for your own. Key to balancing MPK is not so difficult. And that key is simple. Just keep on adding which is similar to crop into your soil. That is how MPK are automatically balanced. Key to high yield and increased sugar content is using grass as a compost. With this, you won't make a mistake on fertilization plan. Moreover, it won't cost much. As you can see from the picture, that grass has rooted deep in the soil. And this is the way to enrich the soil with organic matter. Year after year, the soil will become fertile till deep down. All the secret for fertilization plan is within the nature. And by following the nature, agriculture could never become easier than ever before.